Hey everyone, this is uh, Black Woman 7 here, and uh, today I'll be showcasing our BFA we gave battle as we're up against the uh, Commissioner, or Flick, or however you want to say it. And yeah, we this is a very interesting game, if you ask me, because first of all it's week 8, so technically speaking this is pretty much the rivalry week, I guess you could call it that. So, um, this is going to be an interesting battle, because... I think we're both uh, the top two teams in the league right now, so so I think we're in the same division or in the same conference, specifically, see, more specifically. So, um, so regarding that, um, like this is still sort of like a, I guess you could say a high stakes battle going. So, and of course it's weak gate, so yeah. Um, so looking at his team, he brought like. Like Tapu Koko, Alolan Raichu, Gudra, Pimarina, Marowak, and Beedrill. He also had options like, uh, I believe, Feral Thorn as well. So I was kind of shocked they didn't bring Feral Thorn. Um, and to be honest, like I think Feral Thorn was like one of the better responses for uh, for a good half of the team. But I could see why he didn't bring it because a lot of my mons could have fire moves, which some of them did, by the way. So. Um, I think Lafani did, and like, uh, I think I have Fire Punch for sure, and, uh, and Nita Queen as well, so. Um, Zapdos did have Heat Wave for it, so. But anyway, speaking of my team, I had pretty much like, uh, uh, well, I'll just say it. I have double priority Lafani, because, uh, one, I need to get rid of that Raichu, and also his Halucha, which he did bring. Uh, I have double priority for that. Um, I also have a Mew with uh, sort of a defensive Mew, Psychic Taunt, Knockoff. It's it's kind of dumb, but you know I kind of need it for Mirawak and the uh, and in case any of these spawns try to set up more specifically Gudra, Ferrothorn, um, Defog, Zapdos because of course he has spikes potential, so yeah I have to run Defog. Milo with competitive, so that if he brought a low Persian with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, parting shot, well that would have been a fun time right there. <laughs> Um, um, and also, I actually brought a Life Orb, uh, Nido Queen for once. It's been a while since I bring it, so. And finally, I have more defensive Scizor, but it's sort of like kind of a bulky setup, so. Um, so anyways, uh, we'll just get right into the battle, so. Um, I'll be leading off with the, or he'll be leading off with Coco as I lead off with Nido Queen, so. I felt that Nido Queen was my best lead since it hits everything really, really hard, and I just wanted to chunk something, really, at this point, so I'll just try to confirm items, so. Um, so yeah, here I just go for the uh, really Earth Power, because nothing really, uh, takes it. And at this point I know this thing's AV, so at least we figured that this thing isn't going to be some sort of setup variant. Um, so I got a Milo because I really can't, <laughs> um, I can't really afford, uh, to get Nido Queen damaged, you know, if you ask me. So here he's going to go to Clipso the Primarina as I go for the Toxic. And yeah, um, at this point, I'm like, I have to be very careful with this Primarina because uh, this thing could be Specs and it could be a strong wall breaker. And at this point, I have no switches to it and I really need to like just stay in. So I'm just going to go for Skulls with Ruby as he's going to go for Toxic. So um, this implies that he's also defensive of this uh, Primarina with leftovers. So yeah. And yeah, at this point, I can't really afford to switch out, so I just have to keep going for Skulls as he goes for the Moonblast. Mew can take these since he is not offensive, but the thing is, uh, you know, I kind of have to stay in, so. Here he's going to go to Gudra as I'm just going to recover, but of course, uh, toxic damage. Um, so I'm going to go to... Uh, Honestly, this was going to be a funny one in reference because honest. I, I won't say what it, the reference was, but let's just say Blue dies, so... Um, uh, he goes for Sludge Wave as I get Leftovers Recovery, so... Um, at this point, um, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff. And this was just like... This wasn't a prediction, but it was just more so just a general play. Also because Marowak is just weak to dock. Hey, well, first of all, like... Um, I'm gonna do a lot of chip to Beedrill out of the way, or Coco, removing other items, so... Um, and also I just want to ensure that I can take off these, that dick club if he has it, so. This is a really good turn for my end, so yeah. 
Um, I still don't want it set up, so I'm just gonna go hard Needle Queen. So I'm gonna uh, protect the rocks. So, and at this point, I'm gonna go for over my own rocks here. And yeah, at this point, I could just chip down his team with uh, Mew because I really don't see a response to it outside of Beedrill. So. Um, he goes hard to Coco, and I think this is a fair play because, of course, this could be something. He could be an offensive Coco with Calm Mind and even so. Or even Specs, so that could just hurt really hard, so. Um, I'm kind of worried about those two because they bring an offensive Queen, so. But at the same time, I do have offensive priority, so. He goes for U uh, turn here, get some chip, and uh, at this point, I'm just going for Psychic, and it doesn't do that much damage, unfortunately. He was gonna go for nasty plot, and at this point I'm going for knockoff, and he barely lives on one HP, and I'm like, well, shit, uh, this thing's gonna kill something. So at this point I'm forced to sack uh, Milo here because yeah, Emil is gonna probably get toxic by Calypso, but you know at the very least uh, uh I'm gonna get to uh, Lopani. So now I'm gonna go to uh, well yeah Lopani, and I'm just go for fake out. Just to ensure that I get some chip damage, and he's gonna sack his uh, Marowak here, and uh, yeah, at this point I'm just gonna return here, and uh, yeah, he's gonna go to Gudra, and at this point I'm like, yeah, I have to go to Mio, and I know Blue is gonna take a lot of Dracos, but you know, at this point I can't really afford. Like, well, I pretty much ha can. I just gotta like wear down Gudra a little bit more as well as like uh, Primarina because at this point like Scizor Lopany can just Zapdos can easily win the game if like I could just get him the right situation and also Queen can just break his team so yeah now he's gonna go hard into Coco again and he actually goes on the turn where like Electric Drain expires so this actually helps me even more because this is not gonna kill me He's gonna go for Defog, so at this point I'm like, okay, this is support Coco, so... And I'm gonna go for Psychic, and it does a lot. So, at this point, I'm just gonna keep going for Psychic. And I didn't expect him to have Roost at all, so... Um, at this point, I'm just gonna keep going for Psychic. And I just don't... I'm not gonna stop, so... Um, at this point, I'm just gonna go for Psychic again. And Gudra takes it very like easy, like a champ. However, at this point, I'm just gonna go for a knockoff, remove the uh, uh, leftover or little AV, as he does have Gooey, which is interesting. And Sludge Wave doesn't poison me, but then again, he would have gotten poisoned. So here he goes for Draco, and that was kind of scary because uh, I go for Psychic, and this is kind of a dumb misplay on my end because I for well, I did put like a S. Sassy nature over like calm nature because I wanted more damage with knockoff. And yeah, that could bite me in the ass, so here, if he gets a crit, so at this point he goes for Draco and uh Mio is just gonna roost this off. And yeah, he was just holding the team like in its dread, so but at this point I'm like, I'm gonna go hard scissor. He gets a crit there. Um <laughs> It's kinda funny because the one time he needed a crit I actually go on the right Pokemon to prevent to prevent it from like from getting like killed. So I went Scizor just because I thought this was the right time to set up, and I thought I honestly thought that was the best time to set up here, and I just go for Bullet Punch. Um, I honestly should have just went for SD, but I don't think it was necessary because I'm just gonna like get leftovers recovery slowly but surely. But at this point, um, his entire team is weakened, so I'm just going to keep going for BP, so... He goes for a GUI there, and I think he wanted to ensure that Primarina outspeeds, so I, I that's a respectable play there. Um, um, I would have just went for a BP though, but at this point, I'm like, I gotta regain this Primarina. And at this, and yeah, like I said, like Lopany and Scizor just win this game, so... I really don't need Mew anymore, so... Um, thinking about it now, I'm just gonna like sack Mew, just let Mew die, and it was just like it's a, just a safe play. I really don't need Mew at this point. He like he's gonna get worn down, toxic, and he can't rest it off. So, out comes Beedrill, and uh, we come to the point of the battle where 
Um, we have to figure out one thing. One, whether this thing has, uh, uh, well, Fell Stinger. And two, well, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, so. And two, whether he can kill me. Well, he can, but, like, uh, it depends whether he just tries to go for the setup or whatever, but, of course, he goes for Poison Jab, and, uh, doesn't have Fell Stinger. I got into my, uh, Scizor, and I know for sure that I could out, I could 1v1 this thing, so. At this point, I'm just gonna go for BP. And I do, like, over half. And, yeah, that's not doing enough, so. And at this point, I'm just gonna get any leftovers, and I'm just gonna keep going for BP, so. And, yeah, that's gonna be game, so. Um, I'm just gonna say uh, GG's to, uh, Slick. As, I, I know this was kind of the more, um, like, I think this was one of the more, uh, I would say, um, um, <laughs> I think this was one of the more lopsided battles that we had. I know, like, most of our games were usually, uh, usually competitive. So I think, uh, I think that for this week, uh, we just had, like, very, like, I just had a very good matchup with him. So, like, especially with Scizor and, like, being able to, like, and Mio being able to, like, wall his entire team in a way. Like, and, and also getting rid of the Dick Club from Marigwack was just huge because Dick Club. Club Marowak could have been a problem, but you know, um, getting like rocks up was also helpful. So, and also just Mew just taking those hits from Gudra was helpful as well. I'm surprised that Zapdos and Noodle Queen didn't do anything when I thought they would be the ones that would like be the most helpful, the most useful. But you know, sometimes that happens. Um, and of course, Lopany was just like pretty like. Like, it was just there, but, you know, Scizor was the star of the show here. Um, being able to just BP everything to death, so... It shows why that's one of my favorite Pokemon, so, Scizor... Honestly, it's always between Scizor and Metagross. And, like, between which one's, like, my favorite of the two. And, like, obviously you could figure out which one's... Which one's better, so... And I always find Scizor and Dracleek interesting as well as really in regular because uh you know how like there's all there's mega scissor but there's regular scissor so um i don't think the i don't know like i think if he had like feral thorn the games might have been a little bit different but you know um i think the marowak and the no i think the pokemon that really caught me off guard was definitely the uh i'd say the, the primarina and the gudra also Raichu. Um, him not having an offensive Coco was just like, um, that was kind of helpful in my sense, since, uh, it just helped me just wall his team, and I think by the time I got, like, um, I was able to, like, uh, by the time he got Beedrill in, it was, like, too little too late, so, maybe probably should have, like, let Beedrill in and whatnot, so, that would have just put a much, much more offensive pressure against me, so, um, anyways, uh, uh, I think that's all I have to say about this game, so... I think now we're at 7-1 and one with this, uh, team, and now we're gonna be facing the more... I'll admit, like, our schedule is a little bit more hectic now. No, not hectic. We're more so, like, uh, we're gonna be facing a lot more stronger opponents. Of course, like, Slick was just one of those opponents as well. It's just that, you know, the matchup was kind of in my favor. So, I, that's, that's what I think, so... So, GG's to him. And yeah, um, we're advancing on to week nine, so um, hopefully we get to get the battle up soon, up quickly. So, and oh god, I, I already know this next week's gonna be really, really interesting. I think week nine and uh, ten are gonna be the nine, nine, ten, eleven, and are the more interesting weeks. So yeah. So, anyways, uh, that's all I have for today. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.